I'm so bored. Hmm? Oh, it's you. What is it? Oh, you wanted to thank me. For what? I mean, I know we haven't known each other that particularly long, but... I mean, it's not like I did anything spectacular for you. No, oh, saving you off that stranded vessel? That was no problem. I don't even know what happened to your spaceship. It seems like your thrusters were all off. Were you trying to use the moon as a launching platform? If you did, you did it wrong. You launched in the opposite direction. And it seems like you were floating for quite a while. When we found you, you were basically on the brink of death. <laughs> so, uh, stranger, now that you're fully awake and uh, conscious, and, well, um, not screaming like a banshee, since I left you in your room to do that, um, do you mind telling me your name? You don't remember it. Um, all right, I guess human will suffice for now, until I can learn your name. Um, all right. So I know you come from Earth, but when we went over to Earth to check on it, uh, <clears throat> the year log in your spaceship and the year log in your, on Earth don't match. And we were curious as to why. Well, on Earth, apparently it's the year 3500. So it's... But on your spacecraft thingamabobber, your e-pod, it said you came from the year 2025. So either a code got mixed somewhere, or you've been drifting out in space for a very very long time. So it kind of made it hard to return you because then it might look like you were mortal. And, well, we can't really interfere with human politics most of the time. Uh, we're supposed to be leaving humans to their own devices, but when humans float into our sphere of influence, it's kind of hard. Where are you right now? Uh, currently we're on the edge of your system, kind of by Pluto. We were about to leave it when you woke up, so we halted, so in case we need to turn around, we will, but I'd prefer if you didn't want to go back to Earth, I won't lie. Well, it'd be a lot more convenient, one, for me, and two, the big problem, you'll probably be killed nearly instantaneously by whoever's on that planet. So it'd be pretty pointless. I mean, if you really want to go back, I will take you back. But uh, I don't think that'd be a good idea for you. I mean, you're literally a thousand years in the future. Who knows if humans are even alive on the planet. Why not I go and check? Was will be detected. Their technology advanced to a point to where they've nearly fully... What's the word? You guys use a spear word. Colonize. Yeah, they've nearly 100% colonized the Earth. So if we were to go back, it would be um, a problem. Because the Earth and the Moon have been humanized? I don't know. Again, they use a lot of weird words. Where did I find you? Uh, you were drifting by Jupiter. So you were quite a way away. Hmm? Oh, right. Your clothes. The thing is about them, uh, we kind of destroyed them on accident. Well, we were trying to sterilize you and didn't realize your clothes were made of a certain material that didn't play well in it and basically it vaporized the clothes right off your body. 
it left out your skin intact, but and everything else, but anything made of cotton, wool, or things of that nature were basically eviscerated. So we put you in our own cloths, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, our materials are very different from those on your planet. You see, our materials are made of, um, I guess you can basically call it very, very light Kevlar. That's super stretchable. I think that's the closest I can compare it to Earth. But even then, it's a far stretch. Get it? Hey, I think I'm clever. I understand it may be a while for you to get used to the fact that um, you're in space, but we made sure the gravity of the ship matches your planet for your own comfortability. Hmm? What do I look human-ish? Um, I don't know. I mean, why do you look human-ish? <laughs> there is no particular reason I look the way I look. It was just how I was born. Am I related to humans? Uh, no, we grew up on an entirely different planet, many, many solar systems away from you. So, no. Unless, like, one of us went to your planet, like, trillions of quadrillions of years ago, and then just, like, decided, hey, I'm gonna live here now. I, I couldn't tell you otherwise. Uh, we've been spacefaring for... Well, it's hard to say. Long before the Earth existed, if that gives you any context. My civilization is pretty, pretty old. We've colonized many planets and own a very large chunk of the galaxy. Well, we own like 30% of the universe, which doesn't sound like that much, but... You're like a drop of water in a bucket, and we don't really particularly want to own this system because it's neutral space. What that means is any species can come in here, check things out, and leave. The one rule is we're not allowed to disturb you. Basically, we gotta leave you alone until you're spacefaring. It's like a galactic code thing, uh, basically our version of the Geneva Convention. Um. You can't mess with planets that are not at the same tier as you. So if you're at a lower technology tier, we can't interfere with you, and neither can any other race. But once you've reached a certain tier, you can interact with that tier's specific races. Uh, currently, we are tier 2, which means um, we are multi multi-travel system, so we can build gateways to different systems, can travel universes... Um, and pretty soon we're supposed to be able to unlock the ability to transcend time, but that's probably another million years in the making. I mean, it'll be cool for when I see it, but... Huh, what? Oh, yeah, we're, uh, immortal. We cured aging a very, very long time ago. It's why you still look young, by the way. <laughs> We, uh, implemented some of that technology to bring your age back, back a bit, and revived you. I mean, we're a pretty peaceful race. We don't really conquer, necessarily. We just colonize. Meaning we find an empty, barren planet and take it over, but we don't... If there's already a species on it, we tend to leave it alone. Unless the species has proven to be a threat. By the way, we don't mean intelligent species, um... We mean, like, animals. Anyway, the point is, that's that's where my point was going, is Earth is pretty safe from us and most species. Unless you're counting the Borg. They're not part of the Alliance. So they technically could come in and wreck your planet, but there's nothing they'd want there. They don't like water, so they'd burn when they entered your atmosphere. And they really, really hate oxygen. So, yeah, it's just, um, they would just die. So, I think you're safe from that as well. What are the Borg? Oh, they're basically, uh, what's known as a cybernetic organism. Uh, they are robots that basically 
infused with biomass and basically we're able to construct robotic biomass that grows, evolves, ages, and does all that stuff. Crazy, right? <laughs> Space is quite a crazy place once you get used to it. I actually have quite a fun time exploring and checking around, especially with all these times of peace. What will I do if you decide to stay? I mean, I'll probably just take you around to explore with me. I mean, you're effectively immortal now, so why not see what the you know universe has to offer? And I could show you my own planet. We breathe oxygen just like you guys, so there'll be no compatibility issues. And you don't got to worry about diseases either because we cure diseases. We can't be infected by yours and you can't be infected by ours, vice versa. Neither can you really even get sick anymore because, again, we tampered with you just a bit, biology-wise. And, um, you're basically a perfect human. Oh, I'd give you my name, but I don't think you could pronounce it. You can just keep calling me Alien if you want. Wait, wait, I got a perfect name. Call me Al. <laughs> well, you know, Alien, Al. Unless you want to call me Ale or something. Oh, all right, Ale it is now. Greetings, human. I am Ale. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. So, what's your decision, human? Are you gonna stay? Or are you gonna go? It's your choice. <laughs>